first things you're going to need is you're going to need a prop, obviously. You're going to need a camera, somebody to record unless you have a tripod of some sort. You're also going to need a decent computer to handle all of this. And After Effects, any video editing program, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Movie Maker, you really don't need a whole lot on that end. Alright, uh, now that you've got everything imported, the first thing you're going to want to do is add some new layers. So we're going to go new, solid, we're going to make this one nice and dark black. Um, obviously you want to make comp size, so, and we will throw that below. Next up, we're going to want a, another solid. This one is going to be bright, 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 what? So now we got that. So I'm actually going to rename this one up here. Let's see, rename. We're going to name this to Roto Layer. So now we got our Roto Layer. Next up, go to your pen tool right up here and go find the start of this. Um, it's really right here for mine. And we're going to go right over here. Oops, gotta move that up a little bit more. Bring it back on down, and boom! Now we got our nice little mask. And first thing we're gonna want to do is, oops, change this to screen mode. Here we are, blending mode, and right here, screen. Go into your mask. Change this to opacity, and I always take it down to be around 25%, so you can still see the blade behind it. Next thing you want to do, you want to go down to here and you want to click this little button right here, mask path. Every time you create a new a new change on a frame, it creates a new keyframe on that specific frame. So you can either use the page up and page down buttons on your keyboard, or you can go right over here, hit next frame, moves it one frame over. And all you do, All right guys, as you can see, we are done with the initial rotoscope. The next step is after we just created all that is to refine your mask. Uh, the next thing to do is you add an anchor point. Just right here. Um, right about right there-ish. Uh, probably not so much, um, but you just you just give a little bit of a more rounded edge um, on these blurred ones. You don't have to do too much. So our next step is is to remove the blade where it's not supposed to be. Next up, go through, add another roto edge, and just kind of block it in. So now we got that. Next thing up, please drip. And as you can see, right here, there is no saber whatsoever. So, so now that you kind of have that, make sure you click this lovely tool. And if you're starting like me in a random part of the clip, not the very beginning, you want to step back to the previous frame, select everything and move it off because or else it's just going to stay there until it goes and so if your blade goes around that before you're going to have some problems. I've got that all rotated out right here and we just make sure everything is as should be. First thing we're going to do, new and adjustment layer and we'll just move this right here. First thing you're going to do is go to effect and blur and let's do a fast blur you could always do a Gaussian it doesn't really matter so you would go up here change this to one and repeat edge pixels it makes it so when you go off a of frame um, such as right there it'll continue on the the effect outside of the box so just that yep just command D or control D and then we'll change that to 10 and then you just repeat this process until we get a nice 
Well, now here's one thing I forgot to do. We have to go to here and we have to change these uh, to screen or else you're gonna lose your core. Oops, I didn't mean to open that up. So change these to screen first. <laughs> so it's not as a big deal. So now you get a nice core, you get a little glow around them. And you just duplicate, oops, sorry. And then you double it again. And then duplicate, change that one to 40. So you're getting a nice, lovely glow. Final step, oops. Create one more adjustment layer. This one will stay on normal. It's normal blending mode. So the effect we are going to add to it is a color correction. It's called color balance. Now you can choose whatever color you want. Um, I've noticed that you don't want to mess with shadows. It kind of screws some, with some things. So um, we'll check that nice luminosity box. So we'll keep it the mid-tones and the highlights. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. That's so pretty. There you go. All right, guys, now that everything is rotoed, we can move along and get the export done. So basically what you want to do, get that exported to your editing software of choice. You add your sound effects, your music, your titles, all that fun stuff. Export it, put it on YouTube, put it in your movie, and you're all set. So thank you for watching this, and uh, have a great day. Thank you.